How's it going guys? Welcome to Plumbing with Tim. Today we are on location in beautiful Melbourne Beach, Florida. Okay, so today's topic is not about what we're doing here, but how to do it. We're here to replace at a customer's house a water heater. Uh, the topic of today is that the system is on well water, which is bringing the water in uh, in PVC, but we need to connect everything up with copper. So I'm going to show you the best practices when it comes to converting PVC piping into copper and being successful at it every time. Now I want to take a second to show you there's the well system, the bladder tank, uh, the, the filter, uh, and the pump and stuff. And that's the water coming in from the aerator outside, and that's the water feeding the rest of the house. And we got a T on there that comes across and it feeds up for the cold side on the hot water heater. And this will be the outgoing for the hot water going back into the house, as you can see. So ultimately speaking, after this point coming in this way, we wanna connect that back with copper. And I need to show you how we can take this PVC pipe and be smart and have this convert over into copper. So let me show you a couple different ideas. As you can see, this water heater has been in here for a very long time. In fact, it's been in here so long that you actually see the old anode rod, which you can't see on the new water heaters. Now, you see how they have this connected with copper, and that's how we want to do this going back in. But we have PVC that needs to be connected to this, and let me show you the best practices when it comes to doing that. As you can see, we went ahead and we cut the water supply going on into the house, and as well as we went into the garage and we unplugged the pump, so we have no more water pressure happening in the house. We're able to remove the old valve to the water heater and now we're gonna put a new one in. Everybody knows that being on beachside, the salt air destroys everything. So instead of putting a brass ball valve on the water heater, we're going to convert it over to a PVC valve. Uh, that way it holds up a little better in the salt air. As you can see what the salt air does to metal on the beach here. So, and you can, I cut the old valve off. Let me take it and show you that. There it does to these copper and brass components. So we don't want to put that back in. We want to put a PVC ball valve. At least it won't rot out like that. Now, you know when you're working with copper, especially on a water heater and stuff, and you know you got to change the valve out to it and cut the water out to the house, first practice is, is make sure to get yourself a bucket and fill it with some water so that way you can cool your copper down and you don't melt precious parts. All right, first option to uh, convert PVC over to uh, uh, copper if you're putting on uh, a water heater or whatever like that would be like a brass ball valve, IPS, which is threaded where you could put one end in as copper and the other end in as PVC see that way brass is the ultimate factor that joins the two together but we're not going to do this the reason why i said is because we're beachside and everything rots out even though these are nice and easy to turn and pvc ball valves can tend to stick after a while and everything we're going to go with pvc ball valve today and i'm going to show you how we convert this without having to use an ips valve. And remember i told you that the incoming water from the well is pvc and we've still got some distance to make up in order to make it to the top of the water. So we're going to take our ball valve, three quarter inch PVC, and we're going to take our primer on our three quarter inch PVC pipe, prime up the valve, as you can see me do. And we're going to, take, we're going to glue this on right there. So our shut off valve incoming before it makes it to the water heater is going to be right here at this point. like that Set. and that way we can convert from this point on into copper and stuff we've got our risers happening and this is going to go from copper into copper which is the hot going back in the house we have to go from here and transist that pvc into copper first thing we're going to do is we're going to take a measurement from this point over to this point all right see that and get our measurement is you cut a piece of copper and just kind of set it in place so we know exactly the measurement we need with PVC. We got a 13 inch measurement that we're gonna cut a copper on. We'll get it on here. 
right about there. Now PVC has a little bit of playroom, so in this case we can be a quarter inch off if need be. We gotta get this piece of copper cut though, and I'll show you our next step. As soon as we get this all prepped and ready to go, this is gonna be our piece that shoots over to connect with our PVC. So bear with me and we'll take that next step here in just a moment. We took our 13 inch piece of three quarter inch copper I showed you and we sweated on a female three quarter inch copper adapter. That's the reason why we have water in a bucket is so we can go ahead and cool it off and not waste any time. Three quarter inch male PVC adapter. Use the PVC in male to a female and copper. Do not use female on PVC because it will split. And just go ahead and join them on there. I've got Teflon tape and rector seal on the threads of the PVC. Nice and easy, you don't want to cross thread anything. There you go, they're getting married. I'm gonna put a wrench on both of them and tighten them down. All right, that's our product. See that, PVC to copper. No heat, we preheated that and cooled it off. I'm gonna set this up in a 90 that's going in our water heater. And at this point, if you can see, we're gonna get a measurement from here to here and put a 90 to 90 that in there. There's no heat, never put any heat anywhere near where the PVC is. The last bit that we have to solder in is gonna be up in this area where the water heater is. And it's optional at this point, you can actually take a rag and wet it down and wrap it around the closest area that PVC matches because you don't, and I repeat, don't want any kind of heat on anything that's PVC. Prime on 90, as well as a couple small pieces. We measure that out to go up in here. Remember, all that heat was dispersed before we did anything with the PVC at all. Hang tight, I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do this. One more piece, which is gonna be a butt end, and nice and clean. really hot and humid up in here there's absolutely no air I'm gonna take my 90 see there our small butt end piece we're gonna take and we're gonna glue that butt end piece just like this another end into the 90 set the butt end piece inside of here so that's what you're looking at hold it in there in place so it doesn't pop out Set that down, and we're going to glue this little riser piece. See that? And onto the valve. Riser piece in. Hold it in place, give it a little twist so it doesn't come back out. And we glue our 90 in and complete the process of PVC copper. Yeah. We're going to make three glue joints, four glue joints, all at the same time. And here we go. See that? Just like that. That's what you want to see. Hold that into place. Take yourself a little rag so you don't have a bunch of runs. Hold it into place. Just like that. All right, so there we have it. PVC joined into copper. Our final looking little product. We had an overhang here, so I had to do the sideways with the expansion tank, and yes, I did pre-charge that. Looks pretty good, no leaks. Never put heat on that joint or anywhere near PVC. So when I got ready to solder, it was way over here, which is 13 inches, and I still wrapped that end with a wet rag. That's how you convert PVC into copper. Hey, that's all the time we have for this one. I hope you appreciated the video. If you have any comments or questions, leave them down below. Remember these simple little practices when it comes to joining PVC into copper. As you see, I did my PVC on my shut-up valve. Uh, I installed that first, so it gave it plenty of time for that glue to set up. And I prefabbed everything so there was never any hot copper being threaded onto PVC. 
Always remember that. And have yourself a bucket of water and a nice wet rag. Till next time, thanks for hanging out. Don't forget to subscribe. Plumbing with Tim. Keep plumbing.